Here's how I make a chat box for Twitch for free. So first and foremost, we're going to go to my favorite site, Adobe Express. We're going to hit custom size, then make the width 1920 and the height 1080. So here is our blank canvas. First and foremost, on the left hand side, I'm going to go under shapes and we're going to go search under basic shape. I personally really like the way rounded rectangles look, so that's what we're going to work with. The reason why I like to use a 1920 by 1080 canvas, even though the chat box is going to be way smaller, is it really helps me visualize how big this chat box is going to be. I'm just kind of mentally visualizing, let's say my webcam is in this bottom corner here, the background is my gameplay. Let's make this a little bit taller, but, but this looks like a good size for a chat box. So now let's make our chat box the color we would like. I really like nighttime themes, so let's make it a little bit dark. Also, we kind of want to imagine how it would look like with text on top. Typically, your chat's text is probably going to be white, so you want it to stand out against the background. Now let's go under shapes and let's find some cute assets to throw on. Also, I toss on this moon, but I don't want it to face this way. I want to flip it. And if you'd like to flip any shape or image, you just simply click this and it will flip it horizontally. If you click this icon, it'll flip it vertically. So I'm going to pick this baby yellow color to act as the moon and the stars that we're going to add. And now let's go find some clouds. So with the clouds, I kind of want it to be the same shade of blue, just a little bit lighter so it would stand out more. And I'm also going to place these clouds behind the chat box. With Adobe Express, if you ever want to adjust the placement of anything, then under layers, we can just click and drag. Think of it as like the stacking for tiramisu. So whatever is on the bottom is going to be the bottom of your cake, but whatever layer is on the very top is going to be the first thing you see, which is the cream. But then lastly, personally, I like to go and add a little hanging elements. So under shapes, we're just gonna look for dotted line. So I'm just gonna take this dotted line and let me make it smaller and let's copy and paste it a couple of times i'm personally just going to go stagger the height of them but also make sure that we drag it behind our chat box and the clouds we just added and now with the stars that we have let's copy and paste the stars i'm gonna change them to a baby blue color and we just want to place them at the bottom of the dotted lines Again, you can also use keyboard commands, so if a shape isn't placed exactly where you want, you can just press the arrow keys to kind of move them around. And here is our chat box. So we just want to go and hit download, and then you want to download as a PNG with a transparent background. And why I like Adobe Express better than Canva is the fact that you can download it as a transparent background. Otherwise, you would not be able to do intricate details like this, because you would have to go and try to cut the white background off of your image and it tends to not look very good. So yeah, that's how you can go and make a cute chat box like this using Adobe Express.